All right, guys, now that we've spent some time using GoPro Studio, working with templates is going to be a breeze because you're already familiar with how GoPro Studio works. But I got a question in the comment section about templates. So let's talk about it. And let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know about some of your feedback. Do these tutorials have credibility? Are they good? Do they make you want to beat me up in person? Am I wasting all of your time? Let me know. It'd be cool either way. Okay, so what is it? What is a template or a theme? Same thing. Each template or theme provides you with some clips and a song, and you can take some of your own clips and place them over the clips that are provided to further get familiar with GoPro Studio. So let's go ahead and start this. So you guys have seen this pop up probably when you go to step two. So I'll just click on click on anything. I'll click on Ocotillo Desert Lions Crate. And I've already got two clips over here that I've converted 1.24 seconds and two seconds so if you play this you can't delete any of this stuff you can't just click on it and click delete or backspace you really just have to replace your clips over their clips and with the song you can turn the song down you can add your own song what I'd recommend doing, if you didn't want to use the song, I would just go and click on this and take the DV all the way down, decibel all the way down. I would import a MP3. I would drop it here and then crank that bad boy up. So, like I said, you can't delete any of the clips, but you can almost turn the stock song down all the way. Anything else? Yeah, your clip's got to be close in timing or the GoPro Studio will reject it. So. It's got the clips right here, 2.8, 4.0, 4, 4.0. My clip over here is 2.08. You take your clips and you place them over the clips that are provided. I think you can be like a second or 1.5 seconds off or GoPro will reject it. GoPro will reject all of this. This clip isn't long enough. Is there a clip over here that's closer to two seconds? Okay, so this clip, nope, it's 3.0 seconds. 3.0. So how come I didn't take the one that's two point something seconds? 2.8, but it will take the 3.0. So you kind of just grab your clip and you just drag it and then you drop it where there's no red X. Where's my no red X? Okay, right here. Two point. Whoa, where'd you go? 2.9 won't work, but 2.8 will work. Six seconds. 2.8 will not work. 3.0 will not work. I might need to redo this whole tutorial over. Whoa, 2.9 seconds, 2.0 seconds. Okay, now it's saying it can work. So I'll drop my clip right there. So it's pretty much what you did. You just took one of your clips, and you dragged and dropped it over one of their clips while their song and everything played. That's pretty much it. You can load a template, just click on it right here. You can click on download more GoPro templates right there. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's all mapped out. You add your stuff, you drop it over it, and you make your own GoPro studio videos. Uh, last and most importantly, do not monetize this video on YouTube. Some, some people think it's safe, but I wouldn't chance it. If you do a video, export it in GoPro, put it on YouTube, that's part of the template. And YouTube asks you if you own the rights, do you own the song or whatever, say no or you could get in trouble if you try to monetize. And monetization, yes, is how you get paid on YouTube. So I'm sure you guys are all past this step. I got a question on it. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comment section. I'd love to answer them. I'll see you guys in the next video.